Hello, everyone. Welcome to the devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let's begin in prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before your holy presence, and I thank you for this beautiful start of the week that you have given us. Thank you, Father God, for our life and our health. Thank you for this last weekend, this last Sabbath. Thank you for allowing us to feel your presence and your company, your comfort and your guidance. Father, we worship you and we adore you. Allow us to remember everything that your Holy Spirit was teaching us so that we can apply it to our lives, so we can grow spiritually from it. Lord God, you are great and you are kind. You always see the whole picture, even when we only see the step that is in front of us. Father God, we bless your holy name. Where would we be without you, Lord? We thank you. We praise you. I ask that you will be with this devotional today. Guide your steps, guide our minds, guide our perspectives, Lord, so that we can be aligned with what you want us to be aligned with. Father, I thank you and I praise you for being with us today. In your Son's name, amen. O Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Today's devotional is titled, A Language That Pleases God. It was written by Migdalia Ayala, translated by Maria Elena Cardona, and brought to you by your sister Lisa Hernandez. This is taken from the book Mesa de Fe, or Table of Faith. Page 186. The biblical base today comes from Ephesians 4.29. So says the word of God. Let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth, but what is good for necessary edification, that it may impart grace to the hearers. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of the scripture. When babies begin to speak, their parents are filled with emotion and they like to listen to them because they feel immense admiration. Likewise, the children of the kingdom must try to speak words that edify the listener and be a blessing. Let no corrupt word come out of our mouths, but let us speak a language that pleases God. Follow the advice given to Timothy. Be diligent to present yourself approved to God, a worker who does not need to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth, but shun profane and idle babblings, for they will increase to more ungodliness. O Lord, keep my lips from speaking deceit, and my tongue will speak of your righteousness all day long, so that I can pronounce a language that pleases you. Allow me to walk wisely towards those unfamiliar with you and redeeming time. And let my words be always with grace and seasoned with salt, so I know how to respond correctly. Control my mind so that I can think of everything honest, everything just, everything pure, everything kind, everything that is of good name. And when pronouncing words, they can be in a language that pleases you. Amen. My brothers and sisters, what a beautiful devotional today and what a beautiful reminder that our words matter to God. What we say to each other, to ourselves, matters to God. May we keep this in mind when we are speaking with our brothers and sisters in Christ. May we remember that our words need to be ones that edify, encourage, maybe even constructive words that correct and train, but never words that beat down, never words that discourage, never words that are full of profanity. May our words lift each other up, encourage, may our mouths be tools of the Holy Spirit to bring encouragement to the discouraged, faith to the faithless, and healing to the hurting, not only to each other, but also to ourselves. It matters to God what we tell ourselves. If we beat ourselves down with our own thoughts and our own words, that is not pleasing to God. God wants us to fill our minds 
with things above, things that are just and honest and pure and kind, things from the Word of God. It matters what we tell ourselves. It matters what we tell each other. Let us speak with kindness, grace, and mercy to all. Amen. May the Lord receive the honor and the glory. Let me start again Pick the pieces of my brokenness Fill the spaces in my emptiness Let me start again Let me start with you Everything begins with you All my winnings and my losings All begin in you Come let me rise to greet the morning Let me catch the dew of falling Let the tidings of the Keep my courage strong Let the darkness of my night cease Yes, the passion and anxiety With that to hold me, Jesus I sing a bold new song Let me start a Let me start again Let me start
song and now we invite you to check out the youtube channel scc english ministry for our daily bible reading and now we ask that the blessed love of god the grace and peace of our lord and savior jesus christ the companion and communion of the holy spirit our great counselor be with all of his children now and forever amen